uh, in order to stop the blockade of a terror organization named Hamas, which is running the Gaza Strip, helped by the Islamic Jihad. Why don't you just kill more babies, kill more women, take more elderly people hospital hostage? I mean, you, you guys got the Guinness Book of World Records as far as most elderly killed in a day, most women raped in a day in a terror attack, most babies killed. The, the news right now that I saw was 40 bodies of babies were being carried out of a kibbutz. You're talking, I didn't call you animals. You, in one kibbutz, 40 babies were killed. This is to punish the occupation. You wanna call it resistance, that's resistance. This is, you know, 15 years ago, Israel left Gaza and the, they withdrew the settlements. We withdrew all, a cemetery even. And you would think that the, you know, the people might elect a government which was not a terror organization. Hamas has 75 of 140 or however many parliamentary seats, been given billions and billions and billions of dollars of, in aid from the US, the EU, Qatar. So what do they do with it? Build tunnels, you know, kill rockets and, and all these other things. And, you know, uh, and then, you know, talk about resistance and the Abraham Accords and, you know, better conditions for Gaza. What, is this a joke? I mean, I don't understand what, what, what the point of this discussion is, to kill, to take hostages. And you're asking me about a blockade of electricity and water. You want to stop the blockade? Let some hostages out. You think Hamas could do that? They've got 100 hostages at least, and the Islamic Jihad another 40. I can assure you, you start letting out hostages, you'll get some electricity. You start letting out hostages, you get some water. This is not collective punishment. This is people elected a terror organization to represent them in a government, and they are fulfilling the will of the people. And by the way, the streets were filled with celebration. This is great. So what do you expect? What do you expect is gonna happen? There's gonna be a response. It's gonna be a serious response. And Israel is gonna protect its citizens after this barbaric and very, very evil, evil attack which, which targeted civilians, which killed civilians, which took civilians hostage. No person was immune from 80-year-olds to eight-month-old babies.